It's been a long time coming, but today I spent 100 days in Ark Survival Ascended, finally chasing down specific artifacts so we could battle and conquer our very first Titan, to exploring and finding new dinosaurs with each turn in every corner of the map, and spending way too much time trying to build up enough resources for this gas mask. Yes, this was an easier challenge because of certain options raised, but honestly, it was because of how much fun I found myself having. If you're curious and you don't know, check out my other video on Ark Survival Evolved while trying to survive on another map called The Center. But without further ado, I spend 100 days in Ark Survival Ascended and here's what happened. Starting up this new version of Ark Survival Ascended, I began creating my character, trying to decide if I wanted more bulk or maybe some muscle. Perhaps I wanted a little bit of a chub. Whatever my choice was, I knew I would choose well. Everything seemed normal enough, not until actually picking a zone to stick to. Are you the one I've been oh. waiting for? Hello? What? You might be. I hope so. Is this something new? It's been yeah. so many cycles since I was oh. her. Cycles? Do I even still remember hope? I don't know, do you? I wasn't sure you'd ever turn up. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. Who is this? Like, who are I've you? Been gaining power. You have to reach me. Okay. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. You got it. Make allies of its many creatures. This is beautiful. I love this already. Your strength oh my and God. skill. Explore this place like I did so long ago. Mm. Put the pieces together and find me, survivor. You may be the only one who can. Ooh, okay. Oh, 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 I'm ready. Nostalgia flooded back in as we scratched the arm, finding ourselves inside the Ark once more. Everything about this was awesome with me and my excitement all over the place. Oh, this game looks so good. What the heck? Look at the water. It looks even better. Wait, this is the island, so this means it's more of like a remastered kind of thing, I want to say. From learning how to play the game while not being a complete noob again, my jaw dropped with how thick my character was looking. Man, oh man. As simple as this was, I also never used a shield in Ark before. Knowing full well that exploration would take over again, I needed to think of where I was going to build my base. I had just the place in mind. Soon enough, the foundation started coming together. Brick by brick, things were moving faster than ever before, even with a few walls up and some storage to end the night. With day two here and spending way too much time building, that was my specialty. Though, I wasn't about to bore you here, okay? Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, God. Yeah. I died! Oh, I didn't know there was a big cliff. Okay, that's not good. By early midday, this is what the place was looking like. Almost the first floor done with just a roof left to go. I also wanted a second floor with a ramp or stairs leading up to the next area. The coolest thing I learned about building was switching through different skins of parts you could build. Okay. Oh, we even have these. No way. Ooh, wait, what is this one? Well, this is a different flooring. Whoa. Hold on, there are so many different types of floorings. Oh, God. Oh, oh it's a secret. Oh, my God. With some fancy doors to match, the roof was getting closer to being built. Something that scared the holy Cheez-Its out of me was this dino. It sounded so sketch. Between that and the next build, our base was finally finished. I know, right? Crazy. Just look at it. It looks even better than before. Oh, okay. Having ideas on where to place torches for some sort of light source. Next, we needed to work on crafting benches. The first ones being mortar and pestle. That's so cool. Look at this. I did something a little different. All right. Mortar and pestles are ready to go. As the mortar and pestles were still going, next step was crafting some trank arrows. Aiming dinos to bigger animals was a huge part of the game and something I wanted lots of. Just before taking a little break outside, I found myself our first tame of the day. The only thing that's going to suck is this thing is going to move. Bolas are broken in my game for some reason. Like I look for them, but they're nowhere to be found. We got to try doing this. My melee is stronger than I thought. You were only level eight too? Sweet. We got some sharks this close? Hold on, hold on. Where, what? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at these guys. 
Ooh. This would be a bigger venture as we were outside in the unknown. All was great within the world. Things looked pretty. Dinos were dying to my axe and I knocked a Patera Dawn out. So immediately afterwards, I found myself across the shoreline looking to tame a few parasaurs. Whoa, that's the baby. Oh, I'm, I'm taking your, your dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's mine. I need the mommy and daddy to make me a baby. It would be a great addition and hopefully giving us the correct eggs for this recipe. Turning on a little mating option and leaving them to do the nasty. With the new day upon us, a dino on our backs, and the world at my disposal, we came across the first of many problems. I mean, look at this. This game's beautiful, right? Look at, look at that. Where are you going to get that? You can't get that anymore. Well, not yet. Oh, what? Ooh, I almost fell off. Oh. I haven't died yet. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's not true. I've died multiple times. <laughs> that's okay, though. It's Ark. You're supposed to die. If you don't die, I mean, good on you. Oh. Can I tame a snake? Is it? It's still coming, right? Ah, no, I got closer than I thought. Oh, you suck. Oh. Shit. Keep right, keep right, keep right. Oh, oh my god! Oh, it was following me. Oh my god! You do oh, I crossed my legs so fast. Oh, my butthole clenched. Okay, 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 okay. You want to fight? You want to fight? Fine. Oh, oh, I thought that was another snake. Yo, don't even. I swear to God, snakes are the spookiest things ever. I felt unstoppable. Like nothing could challenge me. Oh, is that a raptor? Oh, those are raptors. Wait, I killed myself? I definitely wasn't a happy camper with what happened here. But besides the death, look at this. Why is she so thick though? <gasps> Oh, 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 that's what I saw. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I get out? Can I get out? Can I get out? I just want to get out. I just want to get out. Okay. 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 Shh. It's okay, guys. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. He doesn't. Yeah, I hear something big. No, 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 no. I'm panicking. Go first one. They can't follow me in this room. What? Right? <laughs> punks. By this point in the game, I was looking to tame as many dinosaurs as I could and quickly. All the while, making sure the dinos we tamed were compatible for baby making. By the end of the night here, it almost became second nature as the tames would not stop. Oh, this is cool. Oh my god. This is me beating the game. I don't care what people say. I know there's like bosses and stuff, dude, but this is this is insane. <laughs> this is crazy. I never thought I'd say this, but parts of the game sometimes had me more scared than Subnautica. Crazy, I know. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Moments later, I found a test subject for trying out my shield. You trying to hit me? You just go in circles. He can't hit you. <laughs> yeah, you just can't hit me. Dude, I'm too strong. Having that same food in the cooking pot, all we needed now was the correct egg. Apparently, there were different tiers to eggs used for kibble. With another early morning here, I was up and ready for another adventure ahead, taking us back into the forest and finding a new dinosaur. Not too worried about that. <gasps> oh, what are you? <laughs> I don't... I don't think I've ever seen that dinosaur before. I didn't exactly have a plan, but all I knew is that I wanted to check out the big obelisk out in the distance. Oh, there's a... What? What? The wondrous properties of the flora... Is voice acting? ...will never cease to amaze me. If I told my colleagues in London that I could create a concoction capable of erasing someone's memories... Whoa. I'd be laughed out of the room and never invited to tea again. Yet here it sits... This is so cool. My mind wipe tonic. As usual, I've had tribal leaders groveling at the gates of Rockwell Manor just for the tiniest of samples. And for the recipe, oh, the bounties I've been offered. I'm not interested in their riches, though. I have their protection, supplies for my studies, and all the time in the world. 
There's like these four pincer things. I want to go down there. I don't even care if I die. I just want to explore at this point. Hold on. Hey, no, no, no. That's that's being dumb. Let's try a safer route. Cucumber. Oh, there's something coming. Oh, please don't be dead. Well, I swear the biggest reason for most of my deaths in Ark were due to all the fall damage I took. Stuff was crazy. Having made a new set of armor the next morning, a storm was brewing. And by that, I meant I was trying to tame those same dinos that killed me a few days prior. Oh, uh, can I get on you? <gasps> vroom, vroom. While being back on my raptor, we were working on more tames that would be then used for more eggs and kibble. I'd eventually give up on the idea and find something much better, but this was my struggle early on. I even snagged myself a few triceratops later in the day. What I didn't like was us having to run away from a berry onyx trying to kill us. That thing just didn't want us picking its berries, if you know what I mean. As the day was coming to a close, all our dinos were mating and left us waiting. With a new day here, we began filling up forges with a bit of metal. The next task at hand was to find a new flying dino and one that just needed basic foods or bears to tame. Thankfully, all I had to do was search the shoreline, finding these flying birds called Pelagornis around the open waters. Name of the game was wait. Let's just wait. You know, wait with me. Come on. Oh, and you're a fast one too. Okay. With a huge W to my name, we had the bird following us back to base, getting ourselves ready and a nice saddle for this beautiful B word. Ooh, ooh, really good stamina on this. Whoa, I'm like a boat. Look at this. Hold on. Do you think they could catch me? I saw a shark here. Ooh, I heard the big rumble. Ooh, there's a lot more coming. Hold on. Ooh, hello. Whoa, that's a big shark. That's a big one, too. Ow. Okay, you took one bite and I'm half dead. What? Today would be a wonderful day because we finally had a way to traverse the skies of Ark. In the meantime, making ourselves dizzy because pain was fun. Albeit, that wasn't the real reason I made myself feel nauseous here, okay? Now, this was about to be the biggest tame yet. I... This might be a tough one. I don't know if I want it, but this T-Rex. Oh, <gasps> biggest problem I was having here was not realizing I could have just left the Rex to be tamed while doing other stuff. Meanwhile, I was over here getting my bump burnt and standing around waiting for something to happen. So much fun. So while thinking of ways to pass the time, something you probably didn't know was our pale Gornis died from a raptor the other day. Now I was on the lookout for another. Lucky for me, there were plenty of them flying around the shoreline. What I didn't realize at the time was these flying dinos, these big birds, they were pretty stubborn creatures. Oh, I actually hit it and it, um, hmm. I don't know if that's what I wanted it to do. Following the next day here, we touched another magic tech. Picking up an eyeglass and finally having the ability to see all information on dinos from afar. That's a, uh, the turtle. Pterodactyl. <gasps> Taking aim for a final shot, we would have ourselves another Pelagornis knocked out and waiting for this bird to be tamed. In the meantime, we would find ourselves a beautiful Therinazosaur that had one of the best damage outputs. Woo! And the terror bird goes down for the count right here, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only. What are you looking at? Dun, da, da, dun. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, fly boy, fly. There was no way I was about to wait for another dino to be tamed again. Now I just wanted to take this bird elsewhere. Next stop, base. Seeing that this base did have everything and sure, we already had most stuff built. I just knew there was more out there for me to explore, to build and gather. My biggest gripe with this base was how far it was from everything else. And so I thought, what about making a base in the center of this map? Or close to it. Oh my god! Yo, there's stickos! You're gonna die. That's why I brought you over here. I'm an evil person. I'm just watching this fight happen. You know, let's zoom in. Let's get a close up. Oh, too close, too close. Okay. My big plan on making a new base would easily take more time than I bargained for. But in the meantime, it was all about me. My new meta shield and a raptor to lead the way. Room room was the shiz, and I was able to cut down any dino in my path. Another big W, anyone? Come on. My favorite place of all time, the swamps. I wanted to level up my raptor some more, and what better place to do that in? Seeing that Vroom Vroom was steadily getting tired, it was time to give our Pelagornis a go at it. Fly around some more and see what else we could find. <gasps> oh, it's one of you. Oh, God. I remember people were saying, like, I found this in the first, like, 
couple of days, but I had no idea what it was. But the Quetzals are like one of the best things for carry weight. No idea what I found here, but this was easily one of the biggest dinosaurs I'd ever come across. What the mother fudger? Excuse me? Does anybody want to tell me what this is? It's like a Brontosaurus met like a T-Rex and they had babies. Look at that. What the fudge are you? It's got to be some custom dinosaur. It felt like this game was becoming the next Jurassic Park, or at least what I felt. Oh, that's a real. What the type of dinosaur are you? While this may have been one of the longest nights I'd spend, we did find exactly what I was looking for, and that was chunks of metals and crystals. What I didn't expect, though, was the unexpected. As much as dying became a normal thing to me, I eventually found a spot that wouldn't freeze me to death, giving us the ability to finally mine chunks of iron and then some. We were about to have some serious metal cooking up in the forges. One by one, the upgrades between tools and weapons grew larger than ever before. With our raptor doing raptor things, today was a pretty chill day, nothing too much or too little. On day 22, however, that's when I would really get to test my metal against some pretty tough dinosaurs. <gasps> Oh, no, you're right there. Oh, you are unconscious. Can you go to sleep? Wild baby... Ceratosis? Is this a ceratosis? <gasps> if I kill you, I get your baby. I'm killing you. I think it's unconscious. Oh, ho, ho. when did you guys grow up so fast? Okay. I didn't know what was happening, nor could I tell you why these dinos were dying, but they were. Yeah, I think something about them just can't go actual unconscious. So we can't get into like inventories. I think these ones are the custom dinosaurs. And unfortunately, just they don't work properly. As much as I wanted to further level up my raptor, we headed north, back towards the rich metals in hopes of farming up some more. Turns out the game would have other plans for me. From the long list of things that frustrated me, this was another biggie that I truly didn't enjoy. Farming up more rocks and resources around, our tamed dinos really started pushing out more eggs. That and we found a purple tech just floating above some water. I was finally ready today to make a new base in the huge forest due north. Of course, it wouldn't come without its issues too, but I made the most of it. All right, look at this, look at this. Ooh, it's cozy. But outside is deadly, so we gotta prepare ourselves. The only thing that I didn't like about fast travel was dropping everything in my inventory on command. The hardest part about starting a new base was trying to transfer everything from our existing place to the new build we had in the forest. Even with my raptor killing almost every dinosaur we came across, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Oh, it might be attacking. Oh, no, I think it's going to sleep. Wait, are you trying to eat me? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, you're trying to eat me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Seeing that we died, I wasn't ready to tackle a fully grown T-Rex. More food was needed and I had the perfect dinosaur for that. Progression was slow and if I wanted to move forward, I needed to build a fabricator for stronger weapons, armor, and just so much more. The two biggest ingredients needed were oil and crystals, both of which I didn't have. While getting all we had situated back inside our base, the raptor needed to get stronger if I wanted more resources that felt at a reach. Seeing that our raptor was at a whomping level 74, things started to get real spicy. What would come early on was this having to look for wool, hair, or pelt. Better armor was needed to survive these harsh conditions. Between both metal we farmed up and had on our raptor, to everything we deposited into forages and campfires, what I really and truly needed was oil. I knew at the time oil could be found on trilobites, but I searched forever. I couldn't find a single one on the shoreline. It seemed that every time I needed something, it was never there. But whenever I didn't need it, the game was always kind enough to stuff our faces. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment titans down below. Bright and early into the next day, this portion had me in the water and looking for anything that resembled oil pockets.
rockets or bulbs. As we were heading back to base, we had a bit of land to cover. Not to fret though, because these were some of the safest woods yet. You aren't going to believe this, or maybe you will, but it took two full days for this allosaur to be tamed. A allosaur? I don't know. As I spent way too much time waiting around, apparently another tame of ours was finally done. So apparently the Rex actually got tamed, <laughs> but my Rex is tamed. What? I didn't even know that there was no pop up again. I didn't see it on the map. That is insane. While trying to take this massive T-Rex back to my base, I ran into another explorer's note. I've decided to take a brief vacation from the laboratory. Well, I say that I've decided to, but the whole thing was my assistant Isabel's idea. She noticed that I'd been quite ruffled lately and suggested that I take a bit of time to myself before rushing headlong into my next experiment. Such an observant young woman, that Isabel. She's somewhat lacking as a chemist, but she understands my moods almost better than I do. I dare say that an old-fashioned adventure will do me some good. Nothing like some rigorous recreation to clear the mind. Perhaps I'll go spelunking. Yeah, a splendid idea. I know just the place for it. Through more fields, grassy plateaus, and finally over a riverbed, we made it back home. This was by far the coolest dinosaur around, okay? Come on, T-Rex, let's go, baby! We do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Scare our foes. Did I like the swamps? No, I absolutely hated the swamps. If you didn't know that, I was kidding before. Don't like the swamps. So with a T-Rex, I felt the safest I could have been. It was also so much easier running through with a T-Rex and trying to get back to our newly built home. Desperately in need of foil by this point, that's exactly what I was in search for. The Raptor was perfect for that because of the zoomies they had. We really needed a more sustainable source of oil. The next few days was basically spent doing the same thing, but also diving deep into the open waters. Ooh, there might be oil in here. Hold on, there might be oil in here. I have to go check. I gotta go check. I gotta go check. Okay. Get off you. Oh, not a single thing of oil. Which, I mean, I guess isn't surprising. It's not that deep here. But I, I thought it would have something. Mm. Running into a few bigger dinosaurs also happened along my travels. For me, the hardest thing to deal with while swimming around the deep sea waters was the aquatic danger. It took me a long time to realize I finally found the best source of oil that would last us for literal days to come, if not the entirety of this playthrough. What is this? Oh, this might be something. Hold on. What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, this is oil. This is oil. This is oil. These little pocket thingies are oil. The oil we collected would go such a long way. I'm not even kidding. Okay. Hmm. I guess we did spend an entire day just <laughs> mining stuff. By stuff, I mean tons and tons and tons of oil. Having our chitin armor ready to go and our T-Rex ready to roam the forest ahead of us, we needed wool. This is exactly why I needed more insulated armor, okay? Let me just... Waking up to a new day, you may have noticed something off here. Vroom Vroom was about to level up some more and become a guide for the entirety of the day. I even came across a new large type of dino, a croc? or something like that. Next part took me into this desolate volcanic mountain. Taking a little bit of a break to look into the wilds, I fell into something really odd. Why is there just a portal? I'm kind of tempted to... The oh. system has existed for eons. Hello? Considering all the variables, it has adapted well. Much like you, it has toiled to reach its goals and it has overcome many obstacles. However, the scale is larger. The struggle is longer. In organic beings, age can slow reflexes and dull thought. Not so with the system. The speed and efficiency of its calculations are not in doubt. One could argue they're the problem. If a function has a 0.001% chance to cause an error, but it's only run a dozen times, an aberration is unlikely. But a trillion times? Then it's inevitable. 
More time. More errors. A drop turns to a trickle. A trickle to a flood. As I said, everything is finite. The system is no exception. This day would take me into a new biome and one I wasn't going to last long in. The fact that I died multiple times in the forest, the snow would absolutely destroy me. They're coming. Those big old brontos. This place is cool. As we did more farming XP around the island, I happened to run into another loud dinosaur. Whoa, you guys are scary looking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The best way I found to tame T-Rexes was killing off the fully grown ones and imprinting on babies. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That looks like... Yes, use them as bait, go! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I died because it was too cold. Okay, right, yeah, that's a thing. God damn it. While dying in Ark Survival Ascended wasn't a new thing, I always made it possible to get back to my body and ride or die it out. Having a T-Rex down and trying to tame it, we miraculously found another one. The only problem was we wouldn't be able to catch this one because of a certain glow. All right, you spin around. You spin me right round. You're right there. Yeah, I don't know if I could tame you, but if I can't tame you, no one can have you. And I'm going to kill you with all my arrows. Finish him. We're finishing him. We're finishing him. We're finishing him. We're also getting hit by something. Oh, God. Oh, <gasps> we did it. The next day was probably one of the luckiest finds or crafts yet because we had just enough to make some new pieces of armor. <laughs> look, dude, look at, look at our character. She's just like so woolly. It's great. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we shouldn't be cold anymore. Let's go see. I'm coming for you guys here. I'll let you know that I'm coming, okay? Watch this. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Jurassic music plays. Ooh, hold on, let's kill this guy. Now we didn't have to freeze our butts off all the time and made riding the T-Rex look so much easier than ever before. Everyone is dead. Ooh, wait, almost killing everyone there. Oh, wait, that's me. Hey. With all these good things happening too, the greatest thing was about to take hold. Having all I needed for this new fabricator, I was about to be the happiest person yet. Though we weren't exactly out of the woods here. We needed another floor, someplace to put it that wouldn't make things more cramped. With all this in mind and seeing what we could craft now, more resources were always needed. This led us to the top of the mountainside, farming more crystals and rich metals. The one thing that was always in abundance, oil. Oil was just huge, huge, huge. But we couldn't make anything else until we gathered everything required my next idea. While I will admit that this was probably too soon of an idea, I was already thinking of tackling caves, something I should have just left and never attempted. Let me just say, I died so many times and didn't understand what was actually killing me forever here. <gasps> is that the cave? Oh, this is a cave. Should I be in here? Hello? What is this? <laughs> um, I'm really spooked. I don't know if I should be in here. Like I heard something and I'm getting out of here. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I like that. Mm -mm. Between farming more rocks and looking at what it took to make polymer and the fabricator, it seemed we were in need for more resources than once I thought. One resource that I started looking for and then felt impossible to find were silica pearls. They were in pretty specific areas and I wasn't in the correct spot to find them. The next day I would be doing the same thing, trying to find silica pearls. As much as I still had no idea what I was actually looking for, fish was really the only thing I found in farm. Doing a whole 180 here, this was something completely different I wanted to show you all. What do you have in this one? Uh, this is a woolly rhino horn. Holy crud. I mean, might as well. I knew that we needed more wool to chitin, but their levels came in waves for this guy. In the meantime, I had other tames going. A female dire wolf and a female megatherium. They looked like fun and I figured why not. This big creature of sorts I honestly never expected to tame and it was pretty magnificent. Let me just say that. Whoa, what are you? Don't kill me. I just want to shoot you. Make you mine. <laughs> what was so wild to me is what happened the next day. I was trying to get all these different types of dinos and big animals back to my base, but there was definitely a lot more losses than I thought. 
taking a look at this chonky team, everything was going great and so well that there was no way I wasn't on top of the world. Cement paste was one of the most needed resources too and where I eventually found real trouble. For the moment, however, we would gather as much metal as this place next to my base offered. I don't know why, but all I wanted at the time was a gun and that needed more metal and gunpowder than anything else. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so good oh my god i can't wait don't ask me why but part of me was so curious to see what this volcano housed inside oh there is a door uh that is like locked or something and a pool of uh, the uh oh, okay we're gonna burn burn <gasps> oh god so while climbing down the mountain with my fellow dire wolf, we cleared a few allosaurs up and darted back towards our base. One last thing I should mention is keep an eye out for all the megatherium we would acquire in the next few weeks. Prior to all the metal we gathered, collected, and smelted down into ingots, this was the perfect time to start adding additions to the base. I wanted to feel a lot more protected than just a small dinky house. A nice metal and claustrophobic house would do the trick, and then throwing up some walls so my enemies couldn't see me, just what the doctor ordered. Even having the amount of megatheriums felt right. I even found myself a pink one too. Can you guess what I named it? Oh my god, look at it! Like, why is this one a different color? What the fudge? While lining up all my recent tames the next day, if it wasn't clear then, it would be now. I wanted an army of floof balls. So as I let all the moms and dads do the nasty, the plan was to go back out into the wild and get our direwolves some levels. Though it would be a time and a half for these flying rascals, I, I swear. What I really started to focus on was changing up where everything went inside my new base, adding quite a few more storage areas for more clutter to happen, and then crafting a lot more fun powder for them pew pews. Now who's ready for me to have a big old dying spree? A snake? Slither, slither. Oh! While I was sad and upset that my metal shield wouldn't hold up, the next best thing was taking Pinky and looking for the brain. Okay, I wanted you to make one baby. Something I struggled to find in my recipes was this Pokeball type of equipment. Something that allowed me to capture the dinos and then summon them back out in any location I chose. I also threw a diving outfit on my person because of silica pearls. Also, ooh la la. Alright, I gotta test this out. I don't know if the suit is supposed to help. I looked up how to like survive without even just like anything i never felt so stuck in my life i'll have to come back this way i gotta take it real slow i can't i can't see i'm inside oh my god i can't believe i just made it that was ridiculous round three was a gas mask we had almost everything except for one type of resource we jumped back on our t-rex and took a stroll to some open water now who has the loss of phobia and doesn't want to watch this next part all righty T-Rex is there. Cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. They just know right away. You guys are crazy. I'm gonna go down in the water. Oh, it's control. Cool. What was so frustrating about all of this was the fact that I still had no idea what silica pearls came from. Other than certain dinos, underwater rocks gave them too. But I, I don't know. What do they look like? This is where I caused a bunch of mayhem just biting away at anything that moved. While swimming and scuba diving underwater was fun, as we came up for air, the distance between me and the wrecks was a lot further than I thought. Only way to get back was swimming in that very direction. Oh, we died. As we were back on our wrecks, I felt it was time to head back towards base. I also bet you didn't think you'd see this in our... We were more than ready to start up the next and very important task. 
ammunition. Finishing up with those same pearls we collected and crafting up as many electronics as we could as well. I think I planned for too many babies here. I mean, just look at this army of megatheriums. All right, Quetzal, you're coming with me, buddy boy. I just got to take this out and boop. Wait, hold on. How do I... Hey, I caught the Quetzal. It's like okay, I'm playing Pokemon. One thing I didn't expect to happen and I really should have turned off was friendly fire to dinos. Wait. What? Oh, did I? I think I might have killed my dire wolf. On top of that, I was now alone and scared for my life. Sure, I could do the damage, but anything faster than me and I was a goner. Okay, Sabertooth Tiger. With a new and awesome Quetzal to my name and a saddle to theirs, this was the moment. As we progressed in the game, we would need new and different resources to start collecting and gathering again. Most of the stuff was remotely easy, except for the black pearls. Whoa, we got to go way up there. Let's say right here. Ooh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Kim Possible. No, I'm 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 Jason. But nope, that's not the one. Hold on, what's the Tim? Uh, nope, not Tim. Who's Tim? What? Mission Impossible. God damn. Another way I found getting around the map was our Quetzal with the additional movement speed. Because yes, I did find it and start leveling the thing up. Yo, there's like a spiky. He rat hold on, I gotta get a better oh it is laggy. Look at that dinosaur. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What are you? Can I have you? Please? Not one, not two, but 27 different tech chests just floating in the sky. We had the score of a lifetime. Can I pick you up? Picking you up. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this guy. Higher. Gotta go up higher. Uh, about cloud. Yay. Yay. You got this. You'll survive. You have tons of HP. I know you do. Ready for this, guys? Here we go. Yo, he actually survived. With our scuba gear once more and flying back over to the deep sea waters, I was preparing myself for another deep dive. The next team needed was something underwater, and this would hopefully be that day. What is that? You guys go to sleep? Oh, they're asleep. They're asleep. They're asleep. They're asleep. Holy crap. I need to. I need. I need. I need. I need. Whoa. Why'd I die? While taking the loss and being back at home, something that I knew came to pass. The army that we once had from all that nest was slowly dying off. Without food in their bellies, they began starving and it didn't look or even sound great. If you didn't know by now, I was also a masochist and enjoyed pain. Not really, but I was starting to become impatient with myself and this led to such a sad fall. Oh, well, here's the cave. Gosh, so far, so maybe good. Unless something scary comes in, I don't know, because I'm, I'm kind of spooked. That goes around in a circle. Ooh, don't fall in there, buddy. I know there's a few more things on this side. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Waking up to a new day, defeated and then some, all I knew is that I wanted to replace all the resources we had lost or burnt through for all the deaths, from wood gains coming in and so much more. With day 80 here, there was no way I expected to find or even see another cape. As random as it seemed, I had to clear this bad boy out and regain what pride I could. Problem was, the bigger dinos didn't really fit too well, though so this beautiful animal would fit just right. Wait, no, that's the artifact, I think, holy. Where to start with the Raniomorphus amalgotantibus. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I know I'm naked and this is uh, not good. What is this? Artifact of the Clever. Whoa. 
Okay, okay, okay. Did I get it? Whoa, why is there another one? As much as I wanted to continue exploring the cave, we had too many important things to risk it all. Look at that, that's so cool. We finally have a first trophy. Artifact of some sort, I don't know, but we collect them and something happens. With the first cave down and two more to go, I felt that much closer to finally accomplishing what I set out to do. Fight and defeat my very first boss fight in Ark Survival Ascent. Though without a moment's notice while prepping the next fight, I knew we would need a lot more metal and what perfect place to get just that. Truly one of the scariest things I did in a long while. So unknown and one of the tallest points in the game. Now it was time to find my balls and take the fight back into the ocean. Flying over to the waters once more and diving deep underwater, I scoured the depths for this creature. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, okay, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Doed, you are a, oh, a Mosaurus. As our new sea monster followed us to shore, I made quick with traveling back to base for a brand new and very expensive saddle. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, this is dangerous. Dangerously cool. Also terrifying. Not only was this the coolest of things, I actually felt like nothing could touch me while in the water. We also had so many black pearls for something special. Look at this. It's so pretty. Let's go up again and then watch. Look at the color. Oh, I think uh, we were over here. Oh my God, it's so cool. Oh, we're finally doing the things I've never done before. Again, I have to preface, so much went into getting a gas mask for this next part, and I still don't know why I spent all that time for it. We gotta watch our HP. Alright, and it is really laggy. Although the other one wasn't huge, but again, I could have missed stuff. Let's let's test it out. I'm gonna try this out. You gotta be careful though. Come on. Come and get some punk. I know you want it. Jeez, look at all these like bugs. <laughs> they just keep coming. When you have a gas mask, this one is so much easier. The craziest thing to me was how easy it was for these snakes or spiders inside the cave to break my gas mask. Oh, our gas mask broke? Even with another mask crafted, all of our stuff from ammunitions to guns and even the direwolf were gone. If you made it this far into the video and want to make me happy, hit that subscribe button, you beautiful B word, you. <laughs> What took me way too long with crafting, replacing, and getting almost everything we had back, I was frustrated, tired, and wanted another wolf. That's exactly what we had, and that gave me another chance to find out what was lurking inside those poisonous caves. Can I also say that I learned what leeches did in Ark and was not a fan? Holy crap! Okay, okay, why we gotta have so many? It legit took forever to get our dire wolf back on all fours. Hello? What is, what is this? Why are you here? Uh, I'm gonna touch it. Okay, loot crate. Sure. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Oops, I, I paused the game for a little second. And there you have it. Oh, oh my God. Is extremely I got the artifact. In addition. Oh, oh let's go, let's go, let's go. Get out of here. The first thing I did the next day was get myself a shotgun. The coolest thing about all this was the ghillie suit we had on. The outfit was fantastic and very versatile. This may have seemed really extreme, but I was just cleaning up. I was on cleanup duty, okay? I also found myself another T-Rex that planned on giving me a hard time. Though, the tame would come the next day or so. Oh, you finally came up. Oh my god, <laughs> guys. I dug out all that land over there. All the trees that used to be a whole forest thing. Dug out all this right here. This all used to be trees around it, oh my god this is too much man this, this is too much between t-rex's mating and trying to hatch eggs i was having quite some trouble here oh my god where did come with me come on don't break anything please for the love of god don't break anything I even believed it would do me good making a completely isolated and separate place for them. Back on the Quetzal, we took to the skies once more, finding another cave that was needed for this boss spawn. One that actually wasn't too hard, and I knew what to expect by this point. I hope this is another, um, whatchamacallit, what are they called again? I can't remember. 
Oh, it is. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Let's get out of here. <laughs> With it being just a week away from 100 days, the prep was real because this next and last cave was something I worked toward. From prepping all the ammo we would need to different weapons, an entirely different loadout, even my beautiful saber buddy would help us here. Look at that big T-Rex there. Ooh, Jurassic Park at its finest. All right, here we go. You ready? Oh, it was level one. I mean, still, this gun is strong as heck, man. Like The place I had in mind was about to get us real hot and not in the fun kind of way. Don't. Oh, do your worst. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, Ooh, so nerve wracking. Holy crap. Don't like those. I am not jumping that. Excuse me. What if I stand here and then... My turn to do some damage. Oh, I don't like this. I don't know why I'm doing... Oh my God, don't push me. You're still there, cool. I've got a gun and I'm afraid to use it. I, I really am. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Oh my God, we're gonna have to jump over there, I think. All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Artifact. Mine. Thank you. I want to see... Okay. Ooh, I don't like that one. I couldn't believe it, but we finally made it to this very moment. We had everything, if not more. Alrighty. Look at that. One, two, three. Look at all these things, man. I've never had artifacts before. This is the first time I finally had, like... Well, I've had artifact, but I didn't know when I died, and... I didn't know what it was at the time. I was like, ooh, that's just nothing cool. Where's the boss? I was like, wait a minute. Okay. All that was left to do was make sure our dinos and bigger animals had some good levels for the boss fight. I did happen to spend quite a few days flying above and looking to find new blueprints or upgrades to things we already had. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at my outfit. I mean, it's all basic stuff, but we got like yellow and the blues now. Like, look at this one. Hold on. Look at this. Look at the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't realize we got some recipes here. Hold on. So many colors, too. I never knew this the last time I played. They're ridiculous. Oh, hold on. Got some more recipes in here. While spending just a little more time tending to my wolves and getting ready for some serious levels, as the countdown begun from day 97 with our megatheriums to day 98 and making all the gunpowder I possibly could, even on day 99 as I used my smaller tames to give levels to the bigger ones. This was about to be it. Day 100 was here, folks. 100 days spent in Ark Survival Ascended, and I was about to gather everything we would need for the biggest fight of the game, or what felt like the biggest fight to me. So how do we do this? Do I just like press this first? What's happening? Oh, I gotta get on the Rex. Yeah, come here. Let me get on the Rex. Oh god, don't get outside. Okay, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. What's happening? It's like a orb thingy. I don't know, man. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Me too, man. Oh, it's like closing. Oh, you see that? It's like fully closing. Oh. Oh, god. Aggressive. Everybody go aggressive. Kill the spider, please. Where am I? Why can't I? Oh, they're killing it! We gotta get closer. Woo! I don't even know what happened, guys, but this was the easy one. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, look at this! I got a, a card, a spider card. This is the brood mother. Uh, mind you, this was the easiest of the bosses on the easiest level. That's why it was so fast. Ooh. Oh, it's actually like a hologram hologram. Look at that. 
Guardians, Dossier. There's this many Guardians in the game? Oh, you know what? Different maps might be different maps. I just wanted to say to you guys, to every single one of you, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for trusting me with your time. I really do appreciate it. I am so grateful. So from the bottom of my heart, I love your faces. I appreciate everything you've done for me and still do for me to this day. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this this video, this 100 days of art ascended. If you did, you know what to do. This is Ray Pandas signing out. Bye guys. Bye Ark. I'll see you next time.